One of the country's most renowned policemen says the recent spate of shootings in the country is a new phenomenon. Former federal CID chief Tantri Zaman Khan says these days shootings were less and less part of armed robberies, but more about settling personal vendettas. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Bernama, Tanshri Zaman says the shootings were something he rarely ever saw back when he was in the force. Kepada saya ini merupakan satu uh, apa tu fenomena baru. Masa saya berkhidmat uh, perkara macam ini bukan tak tak, tak, tak tak ada juga, tetapi tidaklah macam semacam mana kekerapan berlaku ini semalam saja uh, dua orang atau tiga orang dalam tembak. Saya percaya perkara ini memang adalah uh, hitman tu uh, kerana cara-cara mereka uh, menembak pun mereka nak menentukan orang yang mereka tembak tu mati cepat. But he believes the law will prevail and these murderers will be taken down. As such, it's important the public cooperate with the authorities and be brave enough to give a statement if they witness such incidents. He was commenting on the fatal shooting of Arab Malaysia Bank founder Hussein Ahmad on Monday. It came just two days after gunmen tried to kill my watch chairman R. Sri Sanjivan, who is now in worsening condition at home. They were among two of 12 shooting incidents to hit the country in the past three months. That's an average of one shooting each week. Tansri Zaman has also backed the need for preventive detention laws. He says it's an effective method of curbing crime and is meant to keep the public safe, not threaten them. Itu sebabnya kenapa undang-undang ni perlu diujukan. Bukan membuat jaya ke masyarakat, tidak. Kita memerlukan undang-undang ni untuk menentukan masyarakat kita keselamatannya terjamin. Kita boleh 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 hidup mewah sebagaimana biasa lah. Jadi jangan kita diugut dan dibawah cengkaman penjenai-penjenai uh, ini. Home Minister Dr. Sri Dr. Ahmad Zaid Hamidi had previously said that there has been a spike in crime since the emergency ordinance was repealed in 2011, releasing more than 2,000 detainees. Police say 67 cases in the first half of this year have involved former EO detainees, a 100% increase from 33 cases last year.